Tonight on Games People Play, you'll see Championship Belly Flopping, a sport that's getting hotter every year. A special billiard battle of the generations with James Coburn. A crazy game called Auto Ball, honk if you love it. Bull Riding, a new King of the Hill competition that will keep you glued to your seat. This is not one of those events, but I guarantee you we'll have lots of fun anyway. I mean, how can we help it with Mike Adamley and Artie Johnson? Welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, where the rains have finally stopped. The sun is shining brightly for the World Belly Flop Championships. Hello again, everyone. I'm Mike Gatimley, along with my partner, Artie Johnson, whose real genius goes beyond his comedic talent. Yes, Artie is one of the aficionados, the foremost authority on this bizarre phenomenon. Yes, I think that a lot of people have no idea of the historical background of this sport. It was brought into Romania by the Roman legions as one of the triumvirate of great things they brought into the world the center line on the highway mixing bowls and of course the belly flop the belly flop was initially used along the swimming beaches in Romania to drive the sturgeon away from the shores because they had been nibbling at the various and sundry divers and swimmers in return the sturgeon have gifted us with that remarkable thing called roe otherwise known as caviar and you've heard it here folks so the Roman legions and belly flopping are the ones that brought you caviar. Well, can Bud Stewart, after a year's absence, he could be a little bit rusty. Subsequent belly flop jump. Acknowledges the crowd. It's really here and rooting for him. Here we go. Here we go. Great form. Great form. Great form. An incredible dive. Incredible dive. When you see this play back in slow motion, you will watch something very close. Watch the way he hits the boards. Gets the incredible altitude. Watch his mouth. Watch his mouth, Mike. It's incredible. It's done for one reason, to cut down on wind velocity. He sucks up air, and it slows him down. He uses his mouth, and he... Gone with... In case you've missed any of the board to splash action, the story here today has been the triumphant return of Butts Jarreau, 31 years old. A finely tuned athlete, and of course, a showman par excellence. He has his flaming torch. Look at the way the man carries himself. Truly a great athlete, a king. He certainly seems confident. And this is one for the books. He's dipped his entire body in chicken fat. Poultry flambe. I haven't seen that dive since 1933 when the great Zog Glocko did it in Tirana, Tirana, Albania. It is an incredible dive and incredibly done. Watch this. Look at the expression on his face. Fear. That wonderful fear which gives you that extra two points. As he comes and leaves the board, watch how the fire follows him. His fire did not leave his body and he gets extra points for that as he hits the water and the fire is put out. Incredible dive, incredible dive. What can this man do for an encore? This time? Wait, wait a minute, Artie, what is this? Clearly it's Bud Giroux, but what's he doing? I, I, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm quite surprised. Uh, why isn't he on the board? Well, he said he had something very special, very fantastic here for his final belly flop, but uh, this does not in the rule book. The Mike, man has to go off the diving board. Mike, I am going to check the official regulations. Uh, right now, I can tell you he should be penalized for the green smoke. Green smoke is illegal for wind direction. Red smoke is allowed under the Congress rules. Well, as you check the rules, I will tell the fans that Butts has employed a hydraulic cherry picker, and it appears that he's going to belly flop off of that some 20 feet in the air. At spectacular but as you said and if you can find it it's against the rules uh, as if as of the present moment this is an illegal jump and the judges should so signify and stop this man now before he jumps well butts is way ahead on points he doesn't need something as spectacular as this to win this championship uh, i don't understand this kind of exploitative act i don't understand this at all it uh, it denigrates the sport uh, I, Mike, I'm, I'm, I'm in shock. I, uh, for the first time, I, I'm literally speechless. Well, watch this. Nobody's going to stop him. Here he goes. He's in oh, Absolutely unbelievable. Incredible. And if it had been done off a board, it probably would have been a world record jump. But this is not in the... Watch this closely. Watch as he approaches the end of whatever this thing is called. Look at him take that deep breath. That deep breath, that total concentrative effort. He leaps out, throws his right arm back, and look at that total flamination. But, Mike, the jump is still illegal. Well, the winner of the belly flop championships, Butts Jero. And, Butts, I got to tell you, you're a great guy, a tremendous guy, a great performer, a great showman. You've got a great entourage backing to you. Obviously, a lot of money, but 
In the process of winning today, I think, and Artie will agree with me, one thing has happened. You, the integrity of the sport has gone down the drain. You compromise the integrity of the sport. You're an expert showman, but this is a sport that has its roots in Romania, and I am going to have to write a letter of complaint to the International Congress. I think that you've turned this into a carnival and a mockery. A charade. As a matter of fact, you didn't even jump off the board on the last compulsory dive. A lot of us will complain about it, but we leave you with that. Congratulations. We hope your triumph is... Artie, let's go. I've had enough. I have. I hope his wife has too. An official protest has been filed with the World Belly Flopping Congress in Constanta, Romania.